Here's a TLDR. Entry-level cybersecurity careers, they do exist, or maybe not. Ah, dumb influencers. Although, it's quite nuanced. It's 2025. The pool for entry-level cybersecurity careers, in general, is it's competitive. That is a convoluted statement there. Now, I've personally criticized whether cybersecurity entry-level careers really exist in the world of security. And, you know, there's always going to be a subject to debate and criticism. Now, my recommendation ultimately is to set yourself up for the best possible chances, of course, which is going to be working on your personal project portfolio, your just portfolio in general, recognizing the limitations of online applying and leveraging your community and network as much as possible. The job market dynamics over the past couple of years they haven't really changed. There has been some completely anecdotal evidence of the job market softening in some areas. Now, ultimately, entry-level cybersecurity, it's, yeah, it's going to be quite crowded. All right, let me just go ahead and go over a few points here to maybe navigate the entry-level cybersecurity job market if there is one or if you believe so. And Maybe just setting yourself up for the best possible chances. So data versus anecdotes. Taking a look at the good old cybersecurity skills shortage gap, the number of openings is continuing to increase. Now, these are statistics. And if you look at anecdotal evidence and personal experience, a lot of individuals will say, where is the skills shortage gap? And I you know I would suspect a lot of these so-called openings that are or still exist today um, well, they're senior level. They're looking for managers, directors, and people who are senior engineers who can, you know, come in with, say, years of experience. Anecdotes of personal experience, both online and in person, will always differ with whether cybersecurity entry-level exists. I found the entry-level cybersecurity jobs, it's quite competitive, and they are small. And that's because, ultimately, you have a huge flood of candidates coming in uh, applying for these jobs that just really aren't qualified for. And what I mean by that is security is rooted in the fundamentals of IT. And if you don't bring um, IT experience or the knowledge of the basics, such as network routing, how are you going to apply proper security on top of that? So building up your general IT technical base will serve you well. Now, I suspect a lot of security recruiters are looking for this you know, experience above all. And that's really the gotcha of entry-level cybersecurity or really entry-level anything nowadays. So if you don't have a previous background in IT, build personal projects, volunteer, get involved, and really just work on getting those basic skills developed because they will serve you well and they'll help you during the process while you are going out and applying for jobs. When conducting or refining your job search, I do recommend looking for, I guess, so-called entry-level roles, friendly careers. What I mean is like something that is of like a tier one SOC analyst, junior or associate security analyst, instant response tier one, these roles tend to be maybe a little bit more entry level friendly um, compared to something like, you know, a senior level engineer. Now, cybersecurity jobs, they're always going to be nebulously named. Some of them are going to be, you know, associate, but it, it requires 10 years of experience. And, you know, it, it's, it differs for every job posting. And I'm probably stating the obvious here, but I do recommend kind of looking for those maybe so-called uh, tier one type jobs, um, because those will probably be the ones that you can gather in person or online training through the company that you work for. Entry level goes beyond the technical. Okay, so I recognize that I'm kind of contradicting myself here. It's important that you focus on the fundamentals of IT and the proper fundamentals of security. But you also have to rec realize that um, there's this fine balance between what you know and then how you interact and communicate that. Um, so like, for example, one thing that I'm trying to get involved in is like speaking because I feel like I need to become a better communicator or, you know, maybe there's some knowledge sharing that you can do. That's kind of areas and elements that recruiters and managers are looking for, They're looking for individuals who can communicate and who can be team members. So remember that, yeah, you can grind, try, hack me all day, every day, but really what's important as well is working on those skills, getting involved in your community, joining online communities, um, and ultimately you have to remember that recruiters are looking for team workers, people who are trainable, and people who are just curious. I always tend to overlook these so-called workplace skills, but they're equally, if not more important than the so-called technical skills.
expand your search. Now, I, re I realize that I'm calling out most of the obvious here, but really any experience will serve you well. If you've done all you can, such as working on your resume, personal projects, attending or pursuing relevant security certifications, networking with your local community, joining online communities, looking at geographical locations, the list goes on. Well, the best bet, of course, is to widen your scope. IT help desk, system administration, network administration, general IT support. All of these will serve you well in building uh, relevant knowledge while boosting your experience in IT and kind of gathering that so-called requirement of experience. It is, it's again, it's, it's difficult to navigate, but expanding your search certainly helps. So I've pointed out a lot of the obvious in this video. Entry-level cybersecurity careers, I do think they exist. They're competitive, they're limited. So in the past, I've expressed criticism on whether cybersecurity really is entry-level and are we being sold the truth. Um, you know, I do believe that entry-level careers do exist. They are quite limited and competitive. But there are opportunities, at least for you to expand your search, your scope, and you know maybe try improving your chances. Now, if you are looking to grow you know, that so-called portfolio and personal projects, take a look at projectsecurity.io. And until the next time, have a good day.